Hi everyone, I'm Jesse. I'm one of the owners and creators at Diamond Fire Rhinestones. Welcome to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're gonna go over four basic fill patterns, honeycomb, linear, circular, and scatter. First fill pattern we're gonna cover is honeycomb. In today's video, I'm going to be using Super Tight Fusion Tack, my Crystal Katana, and SS30 Hyacinth AB Stones from Diamond Fire Rhinestones. For the purpose of this tutorial, I am using a acrylic blank square that is unsanded. If I were using this for a permanent project, I would definitely want to make sure that my work surface is properly prepped, including sanding, washing, and drying. To begin the process, I'm using my precision tip bottle to draw a single thin line along one edge of the square. Here, I'm going to start to place my rhinestones in a single level row, keeping in line with that top edge. For my second row, I'm going to apply my adhesive at the start of the wedge in between the two stones on the top row and continue on and extend just past the last stone. This is going to allow me to take my rhinestones and nestle them in between the row above. If one slides, just move it back into place. As you can see here, each stone is gently nudged in between the space, creating that honeycomb pattern. For the third row, I'm gonna repeat the exact same process. Next pattern we're gonna discuss is our linear or grid fill pattern. Again, I'm using the same precision tip bottle with super tight fusion tack and starting my first row along the top edge of the acrylic square, making sure that all stones are lined up along that top edge. For our second row, we're gonna place our line of adhesive directly below the stones we just placed. I'm going to go ahead and do two rows at once just to make this process a little easier. Now with our grid fill pattern, we're gonna take our stones and place them directly below the stone above it and horizontal in a row. So all stones are gonna be perfectly vertical and horizontal in their placement. Once all stones are in position, I'm just going back through and gently moving to ensure that they are all perfectly in alignment. The next fill pattern we're gonna cover is circular or radial. In this particular video, I am using SS 16th Hyacinth AB from Diamond Fire Rhinestones, and this is a two inch acrylic blank. I do apologize for picking this up and taking it off camera, but I am simply just taking the precision tip bottle and drawing a single 
line of glue around the outer edge of the circle. Now that I have my adhesive down, I'm going to slowly start placing my stones along the outer edge of that glue line, following all the way around until the circle is complete. For each additional circle, I'm going to follow the exact same process, creating a ring of glue inside the previous row. Notice I am not tucking these in in a honeycomb fashion. If you try to connect them in a honeycomb fashion, they will not fit around. So you just wanna make sure that you're placing them in the exact interior diameter. The final fill pattern we're gonna cover is scatter or sprinkle fill. For me, I like to use super tight two-part epoxy. This is a 30 to 45 minute cure time. I also like to transfer it into these easy squeeze bottles and I keep a sheet of parchment paper around for easy cleanup. I'm just going to squeeze equal parts of A and B and start mixing it with this silicone tool. Now I'm going to add in Love Shack from Woody's Goodies. This is a color shift mica that has a red, orange, gold shift to it. I'm gonna take a small scoop and mix that into my epoxy to just give it a little added color behind the stone mix that we're gonna use, which is hot apple cider from Diamond Fire Rhinestones. Now that we have our mica all mixed together, I'm just taking the same silicone tool and brushing the mica onto the acrylic blank, making sure that I cover all areas. Now for scatter or sprinkle fill pattern, there really is no rhyme or reason. You're picking random sizes, colors. For me, if I'm doing an acrylic blank that has a hole, I'm gonna try to circle around that hole to begin with so that I make sure that I have a good fit around there. But it's really just randomly grabbing and going. It's kind of like a giant game of Tetris. If you have space, gaps, learn to embrace the gap they will happen. Nothing's ever going to fit together perfectly, but in the end result, it won't matter. It's You're not going to notice it. That's part of why I colored the epoxy was to give an added sparkle through the gaps. As you can see with the finished project, there may be some gaps in between stones, but by using a colored mica, you won't be able to notice them. Again, just embrace the gap. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial on rhinestone fill patterns. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button for more videos.